Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here, just back from a couple of weeks in the US. Uh, of course, while there, I picked up a few uh, tech goodies, including actually this microphone. This is the uh, Amazon, uh, sorry, Audio Technica AT2020. So uh, hopefully, it's a uh, good audio quality, and I don't need to. It means I don't need to use my interview mic when I want to do videos uh, with a proper microphone like this on my desk. Um, I also picked up a luggage tracker, something I've been interested in buying for quite a while. So what I got was the Tracky GPS luggage tracker. I also picked up a few more tiles and tiles are uh, definitely the better known of the two products. I did a video a few days ago, a real deep dive in the differences between GPS based trackers and Bluetooth based trackers, uh, what one does that the other one doesn't do and vice versa. I'm not gonna repeat all of that video. I also did a few little videos along the way assessing how the GPS tracking worked at uh, different uh, stages. So the answer is basically the summary of, of, of my findings first time using a GPS tracker, putting one in my luggage, was it actually worked really, really well and it actually came in extremely useful. That was because I happened to be doing this on like the worst flight I've ever taken, the worst itinerary at least I've ever taken. I was traveling back from the US to Israel and there was a storm system over uh, Washington, which was supposed to be our like connecting point uh, to Frankfurt, to Israel. And then, so the plane never made it to our first airport in Connecticut. So that whole itinerary got scrapped. We ended up staying in, getting rebooked onto a flight uh, ex Washington the next day. Then we woke up to find that that flight got rebooked all because of the storm. So we got rebooked two times and our bag was kind of sometimes ahead of us, sometimes there. Now, what I did discover was that the United Airlines, uh, United Airlines have a pretty decent app which will give you baggage, baggage tracking updates. Now, the first thing I heard or the, the most, uh, the argument against these GPS trackers I heard on Reddit was, well, you know, the airlines really do a good job at tracking your luggage. My experience, yeah, pretty much that. Um, you know, I was able to go into the United app and see where my luggage was. It just, it was a bit easier and quicker with Tracky. Now, the thing about Tracky is I could see exactly where it was. Like, was it waiting for us on the plane? Because I could kind of see where we were at the gate. So, yeah, it's, you know, it depends. If you really think that's useful, uh, a useful thing. The other thing to say is that not all airlines have apps or even website functionalities that show you your luggage tracking. So one use case for the tracky is if you end up on a flight like mine that kind of goes haywire and you're getting rebooked and changes of, you know, the routes changing and all that, and you're worried about your luggage, is it gone ahead of you or is it staying with you? What's the airline doing with your luggage? If your airline doesn't have a built-in tracking functionality, and I'd imagine there's a lot of airlines in the world, many probably don't, then the tracky would be super useful. So how did it actually perform uh, versus the tile? So the tile, as I explained in my previous video, it's a Bluetooth tracker. The tile has a range of about up to 400 feet. That's about as far as Bluetooth low energy will go. And in all likelihood, because of, you know, just uh, concrete and stuff in the way of the signal, you're gonna get less. Now, there is a sort of uh, caveat to that. And that's that blue, the tile has a system like AirTags in that it uses other tiles. It's kind of like a crowdsourcing system. So a lot of people have tiles and the tiles can talk to one another. So if your tile's outside of the 400 feet radius, let's say, but there is another tile user in that radius, it will detect your tile and pass that information on to tile anonymously. And then tile will tell you from their server that, hey, your tile is here. And likewise, when you're using the tile, and this is actually pretty cool tech, if you think about it, you're also constantly browsing for other other people's tiles in your Bluetooth range. And if they are there, you're feeding that data up to tile. At least that's my understanding of how it worked. So in my case, because airports are probably people, places where a lot of people are using tiles, I did actually manage to see where my luggage was throughout the trip despite the fact that um, it was not within the Bluetooth range really at any point from when I put it at the check-in gate. So the tile actually worked pretty well as well. However, it didn't work as well as uh, the tracky. So the tracky, because it's got a SIM card in it and because it's using radio networks, it's using GPS, as soon as there is any kind of reception, 2G, 3G, 4G, this guy is going to be able to report its position. For the tile, you have to kind of hope that there's gonna be other tile people, either the things right next to you, in which, in which case it might not be so useful, or you've gotta hope there's other tile users in that area so that the system will work. So for more 
robust tracking definitely tracky comes out on top the thing is that it's more expensive than the uh bluetooth tracker um the one thing i find about tracky i put a bit of research into the process of identifying which one it was there's a couple of other options on the market now these don't have to be luggage trackers right this is just a this is what it is it's a little box and it's got a worldwide sim card built in and it's got a battery built in and to the best of my knowledge there's nothing else in this box it's really small as you can see right so um this can be used to track vehicles in fact when you buy it they give you a little vehicle mounting kit you could probably track people if you had a you know a vulnerable person and put it on them or something there's probably illicit uses for this as well so really it's a thing tracker whatever you want to track that you can find some way to fit this on and so long as the battery is good it can use it so my point here is to say that not that tracky isn't the only player on the market um, really any GPS tracker probably could be used for luggage. The thing I like about Tracky is they say they're FDA approved and they offer worldwide coverage and there's a no commitment contract. The biggest player I could find in the uh, space of GPS tracking intended for travelers or flyers was a company called Gigo. Now what turned me off Gigo and turned me on to uh, Tracky was that firstly, um, Tracky said it has worldwide coverage. So if I flew from US to Israel, if it was US only coverage, it wouldn't help me uh, at all. Uh, so that's the final thing I want to say for my uh, little test was that it worked in Israel. It is currently working in Israel. So uh, it seems their worldwide coverage claim is actually pretty good. They probably have a little uh, re receiver in this that picks up a ton of frequencies across the 2G, 3G and 4G uh, bands that they work over. So you can get other trackers than just uh, Gigo. Um, I couldn't find on Gigo a monthly subscription, even though they said they offered it, it looked like they were trying to rope people into a year. Whereas for Tracky, I was able to uh, pay for one month. The payment is tiered according to how often you want the thing to ping you. So if it's like every 10 seconds, the one negative about Tracky, I will, I will say is that I paid for one minute updates. I never got those. I had to each time manually ping it for it to report back. So that was one negative. Uh, that I would have to say about Tracky, um, whereas sometimes the tile was actually more frequent. So that's been my experience about Tracky. How much does it cost? I'm just going to jump quickly over into my uh, Amazon here, and you can see. So the Tracky at the time I'm recording this video is eighteen dollars and eighty eight for the tracker. Now, after you buy the tracker, you need the data plan. But in my opinion, that's a really, really uh, cheap price for. Uh, for this technology under $20 for a little box. It's rechargeable reusable um, Unlike the tile which have moved away from the uh, replaceable battery uh, System, which I really don't like I have to say so that to me is a good thing for tracky now I googled GPS track or I Amazon a GPS tracker to find this and I, I like the fact that they had you know almost 32,000 reviews and the average was uh, 32 stars uh, f sorry, four stars. If you are um, worried about uh, if it's going to work in your country. So what I actually did before purchasing was I went down to the search Amazon feature, which is incredibly useful. It's customer questions and answers. And I searched for Israel to see did previous people have success. And it says, can it, can it work in Israel? Shalom. Yes, Tracky works perfectly in Israel. We have hundreds of satisfied, satisfied customers using Tracky in Israel. It also works in the whole Middle East and the rest of the world. So it, that's just my, that'll be my tip if you're looking for a GPS tracker to work in a specific country, do a search in the customer questions and answer section of the uh, Amazon listing. Um, so that's Tracky. And again, I'm just gonna go back here just to show you guys that this is not the only game in town. I trusted, I, it was the first that came up and it was Amazon's choice, so I went with that. But I found other, um, this is just tracky. If I search for uh, GPS tracker, you're going to find other things that might be able to be used for luggage. I don't know if the spy tech thing, it looks to me more, more like an, a sort of illicit or black hat use tool for private investigators. This one looks a bit more uh, sort of appropriate for luggage, land, air, GPS tracker. So again, I'd look into that. I'd see so you're going to have to do your own research if you're looking at this. Does it offer worldwide coverage? That's the most important thing. The second most important thing for me and probably for a lot of people was, is this something I'm going to have to buy for a year or can I just buy a monthly contract and pay for it when I'm traveling? That to me is a big advantage uh, that Tracky offered over some of the alternatives. I'm not going to go through the list just to show that they're on uh, Amazon. Let's just see by comparison how much the 
um, the tiles cost. So as you can see, I recently picked up a couple. They're $25 um, up to 250 feet. So the it's actually less than 400 on these. I think it's it's one of their latest ones that does the full 400. Uh, tiles are great. I love them. I'm, I have them for my uh, wallet, sunglass case, my keys, all the stuff I commonly misplace. Brilliant technology. For luggage tracking, if you're really going to go down this route, I actually would opt for GPS tracking and tracky over the tile. Not that tracky isn't good, not that it you're really limited to 400 feet because you've got that feature that if there's people in range. But to me, that's not very robust because it can happen if your if your bag really ends up somewhere wacky, you may not have a, a any tile customer in that area. So that's a reason for me why I would spend a bit more money on uh on tracky now what's interesting is that the prices are actually very similar 24 dollars for the tile mate 2022 19 dollars for the tracky so there's not much difference in the prices for the actual trackers uh but this is when you do multiple items each tracky needs its own data plan so let's say you wanted to track three bags that would be 60 dollars um for that month just for data uh to do that so concluding thoughts really on this video um what do i recommend i was actually really impressed with tracky i have to say i think they're both great products for luggage gps tracking i would not hesitate to use tracky again i look at 20 dollars as a pretty cheap insurance policy if you don't know what, what what kind of baggage tracking your airline offers if you're really worried about it being misplaced you don't want to place your full faith in uh, the airline um, it worked really well out of the box and I'm sure there's other uses that frequent travelers could probably make of it too. Hope that a uh, synopsis of a tile versus tracky or this tracky review really was useful if you are thinking about buying one. Thank you guys for watching the video all the way through and uh, to get more videos about lots and lots more tech uh, products and subjects, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching.